We present sketch-based implicit blending. Many complex shapes can be seen as made up of simple primitives. Fonts, man-made objects, bodies and plants are a few examples. These primitives can be combined in many different ways, from simple union to complex organic behaviours. Current systems do not offer an intuitive way to define how primitives should be combined. In our work, we take a user sketch and automatically infer the appropriate operator that controls the combination. We use implicit models, represented as an isosurface of a scalar field. This representation is well known for allowing the easy combination of geometric primitives and is achieved via a function called the composition operator that defines the combined shape. Operators are typically binary, taking the field values of the two shapes as input and returning the value of the resulting field. Thus, the space in which these operators are defined is two-dimensional. In recent work, the variety of shapes that a blending operator can produce was increased by using the angle between the gradients of the fields in addition to the distance. Hence, the operator domain has been extended to a three-dimensional space. In previous work, operators are designed slice by slice as a collection of 2D operators. This is a difficult and time-consuming task to perform manually as the function has 30 degrees of freedom. In our work, we offer a simple method starting from a sketch of the target shape which generates the operator at interactive rates. We introduce a novel representation of the operator modelled as a parametric surface embedded in three dimensions. We call this the operator kernel. The initial surface is a template for all the operators, which is then optimised to account for the sample data. This surface determines the behaviour of the operator, which is able to produce any effect or combination, such as a union, blend, contact or bulk. First, the user strokes are discretized into sample points and mapped into the operator domain. These samples are 3D tuples containing the field values of each primitive and the angle between their gradients. Each sample defines a point in the operator domain and the optimal kernel interpolates these samples. We fit our template to the samples using an iterative approach to generate the corresponding operator kernel and therefore the desired combination of the primitives. Our system provides feedback at interactive rates, allowing the user to further refine their sketch and resulting shape. The newly designed operator can now be applied wherever this type of composition between primitives is required. In this example, we take a photo of an oak leaf and define some 2D implicit primitives using the leaf veins. We then sketch the blend between two primitives and the computed operator is applied to all other primitives. The final texture leaf model is shown alongside the original image. In this example, we sketch the interaction between droplets of liquid and a flat surface. On the very left, we show a simple spherical particle. On the right, the sketches define an operator that deforms it to emulate hydrophilic or hydrophobic contact. In this example, we model some water droplets on the previously modelled leaf. First, a number of sphere primitives are distributed on the surface. Next, we sketch the deformation to mimic surface tension. Here we show the final rendering of the leaf after a rain shower. Here is a typical procedurally generated tree model where union is used to shape the branch junctions. Using a classic blend operator gives unrealistic bulging. The user can easily replace this by smooth junctions via a simple sketch. The smoothing operator is automatically applied to all the 500 branches of the tree. Thank you for listening.